my thing is like, what are the results? I'm not checking in. You gonna hurt me? You know, so I think that aspect of it is crazy, you know, because if you're gonna hurt me because I don't check in, that means you don't love me. You know, you don't have no respect right. for me. But if there are people that I deal with, now I guess you can say, if you say, well, if I'm checking in, I'm letting you know I'm here, but I mean, what you saying, I have to pay you or something like that? That's, that's extortion. Yeah, that, that's something totally different. But you know, hey, yeah, I, I mean, but I think, <clears throat> this is what I think. I think the people who are street stars and they haven't elevated to that platform where they're major stars and they have a relationship with those people that has that, that type of platform, they just want to feel connected. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Dave, I need to ask you, uh, what do you think about checking in when people go to different cities? That's something that I've been asking people about. Like, you, you see different people. They go to cities. They check in. Um, they with certain groups of people, you know, uh, whether it be in Cali, whether it be in Houston, whether it be wherever. This check-in thing where they just come to the city. And both of y'all will get a chance to answer this. No, I, ain't. no, I need to hear this. You know, I need to hear what y'all take is on. I think for the majority of the black people, their ego be their worst amigo, mm -hmm. you know. Um, if things are already established in a city, you know, and if you mess with these people, why not check in? Hey, I'm here. You know, what do you have to lose? You know, yeah. uh, um, some people internalize that as a form of weakness, you know, but I don't see a problem with it. You know, I guess it's how the individual choose to internalize what checking in it, it, it is. is. Yeah. You know, uh, me, uh, uh, my thing is like, what are the results of not checking in? You gonna hurt me? You know, so I think that aspect of it is crazy, you know, because if you gonna hurt me because I don't check in, that means you don't love me. You know, you don't have no respect right. for me. But if there are people that I deal with, now I guess you can say, if you say, well, if I'm checking in, I'm letting you know I'm here, but I mean, what you saying, I have to pay you or something like that? That's extortion. Yeah, that, that's something totally different. But you know, hey, yeah, I, I mean, but I think, <clears throat> this is what I think, I think the people who are street stars and they haven't elevated to that platform where they're major stars and they have a relationship with those people that has that, that type of platform, they just want to feel connected, you know? Uh, uh, and I don't think there's nothing wrong with that, man. You know, wow. people want to say, hey, I know Pimp and Ken. I want, they want to say, I know God, you know what I'm saying? So I guess it's all about how the individual chooses to internalize what checking in is. But me, I don't have a problem getting on the phone and saying, hey, I'm on my way. I got a uh, partner at Big Mo. Uh, 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 he lives in L.A. You know, this is my partner. He comes down here. When he come here, we know, I look out for him. Correct. Uh, I, I go up there, but I got partners. Even if you go to Atlanta, you're going to yeah. tap in with Ken. I holler at Ken. But like yeah. I said, I got people out there, you know what I'm saying? So I don't have a problem with, I think, I think the problem is the word within itself. <laughs> Check in, right. you know what I'm saying? You know, that is what it is. Now if you say, hey, when you get to the city, hit me up, or, 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 or look me up. You know, but when you say check in, I think that's the the word is more it's the issue. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it, they feel right. like it's taking something from them as a, as a man. But no, I don't have no problem reaching out or letting somebody know, hey, I mean, I want to let city. them know I'm in the city. Yeah, Already. You know? well, the what, word, what did you think about it? The word yeah. comes from the penitentiary. So, you know, <laughs> when, when when you come to penitentiary, if you're a GD, a vice lord, a crip, a blood, you got to check in, you know, and let people know what set you on. So I think some of the people on the streets have used that word in the in the penitentiary vernacular. But yes. like what he say, you know, when I, when I come in, I check in with him, I check in yeah, with yeah, you. That's how I'm here today. I that. check in. So... I don't have no problem with checking in because that's the only safety that I have. Yeah. You know, I say, Valentina, I'm in the city and if something happened and somebody was to, you know, accidentally get have an accident or I got shot, you know, he gonna get on the phone, he gonna call my people, hey man, I need Ken mama number, man. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, man, I heard something bad happen to Ken. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, checking in let pretty much let the people know. And I do it in every city. You know. Uh, even in uh, when I get to Atlanta, I check in with the people that I know are there, mm -hmm. and even though I live there, you know what I'm saying. So checking in is a good thing, but I think where it came from, you know, from me being in, in the little town, a lot of times it yeah. came it come from the penitentiary. It's a penitentiary. You got to check. Even like when I went to Memphis, right, uh, and I was in the Shelby County. I just got out the feds. You know, I had a state uh, hold on me, a uh, probation hold. And the nigga was like, uh, nigga out of Chicago, was like he was calling for the uh, GDs. He said, man, you got to check in. You know, and then check in. Also, I mean, check them shoes in, check them glasses in, check that. You know, if you if you come in, cause like 
You know, that's why they don't let niggas wear gym shoes. Back then, they used to let, like, you got some new Jordans back then. That's when they first came out, the blue ones and the black and white ones, the red ones. If you wore them, you had to check them in. If you had glasses, they'd check them, they'd, they'd make you check in. You know what I mean? So that's what check in means. So that's why a lot of people, you know, when they hear the word, it's a negative connotation because, you know, it's a pen, it's definitely a penitentiary word. I've been hearing it. For, for years, yeah. all the time. You know, you've been in time, right? You know, you. that's why you laughing, you know? You know? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.